In this video, we will learn about treatment of entropion. 1. Treatment for congenital entropion. For congenital entropion, which is rare and present from birth, the treatment involves plastic reconstruction of the eyelid crease. This procedure corrects the abnormal invert turning and restores normal eyelid function. 2. Treatment of spastic entropion. Spastic entropion, often caused by muscle spasms, is addressed in several steps. Step 1. First, the cause of the spasm is treated. For instance, removing a tight ocular bandage or managing corneal conditions can alleviate the issue. Step 2. For acute spasms, adhesive plaster can be applied to gently pull the lower eyelid outward. Step 3. Injection of botulinum toxin into the orbicularis muscle can be highly effective in relieving persistent spasms. Step 4. In severe cases, surgical treatments, similar to those used for senile entropion, are recommended. 3. Treatment of cicatricial entropion. For cicatricial entropion, which is caused by scarring and contraction, plastic surgery is the treatment of choice. The surgical approach depends on the specific needs of the patient and can include altering the direction of the lashes, transplanting the lashes to a new position, straightening the distorted tarsus to restore proper alignment. 4. Treatment of senile entropion. Senile entropion the most common type in older adults, is typically treated with surgical procedures. Let's review the most commonly used techniques. Modified Wheeler's Operation This involves removing a triangular piece of the tarsal plate and conjunctiva. Double breasting of the orbicularis muscle is also performed to tighten the eyelid and correct the entropion. Bix Procedure with Rehas Modification in cases with horizontal eyelid laxity, this procedure involves removing a pentagonal full thickness section of the eyelid to achieve proper alignment. Ways Operation An incision is made 3 mm below the eyelid margin, involving the skin, orbicularis muscle, and tarsal plate. Mattress sutures reposition the tarsus to correct the entropion effectively. Tucking of inferior lid retractors this advanced technique is used for severe cases or recurrences. The inferior lid retractors are strengthened through tucking application, providing long-term correction. Subscribe Smart Optometry for more videos like this. Stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.